All right, guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Sly uh, 4, Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, however you want to call it. We are uh, going to rescue our ancestor. Cyclone Pounce, please. Thank you. Doesn't seem to like it that much. I, oh, because I'm actually using like a special ability, so I have to wait. There we go. Say we get out of here. Well, no, we've never met, but a reliable source tells me we're distantly related. I'm not sure what to say, and it, it's truly amazing to meet you. Uh, What's your name? Um, my name's Sly. Sly Cooper. What's yours? I am called gibberish. <laughs> How about I just call you Bob? He's right, Sly. You two should get out of there before more guards show up. Come on, follow me. Um, okay. I guess we'll do it your way. All right. The very first Cooper, Bob Cooper. <laughs> Why Bob? We got Bob safely back to the hideout, where everyone took an immediate liking to him. And he took an immediate interest in our gadgets. While he was busy, Fitly provided the background on his former captor. The guy's name was Grizz, and he'd made his fame in the art world. Once a common street thug, he'd been thrust into the limelight when he was plucked from the gutter and made famous by a prominent pop artist. Grizz's primitive artwork was hailed as a brilliant new style called paleo graffiti. And for a while, he enjoyed a celebrity status. His fame was short-lived, however, when people realized his art was really just bad. Resentful, he returned to his criminal roots, quickly becoming the top art thief on Interpol's most wanted list. <coughs> One of Carmelita's main targets, it was now clear how he'd managed to evade her capture for so long. <laughs> After we pried Bob away from Bentley's tools, he explained how Grizz had appeared and started harvesting all the pterodactyl eggs in the area, eliminating his role as food provider for the tribe and greatest egg thief ever. Depressed, he'd gone into a slump and gotten out of shape, which allowed Grizz to capture him and take the new tool he'd invented to help him steal eggs. So it looked like the very first Cooper Kane had been stolen as well. Great. We may have rescued Bob from the arena, but we still needed to find out what sort of operation Grizz was running for La Paradox, and why it involved stealing all the eggs. We also needed Bob's help to find the rest of the van parts. And that meant we had to get him back into climbing shape. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, run while charging. Cool. Carmelita gets a charge shot. Charged shot. Hold R1 and then release it to unleash a dangerous charge shot. Sh charge shot. <laughs> yeah, look, another clockwork tail feathers. Then there was the one, I think, right before our cutscene that was talking about like 
how Clockwork ended up going after the Cooper family. So I think Clockwork's going to end up being like the big bad. Okay, where are we going? Getting stronger. Ooh, look at that. Really? Well, that works. Ooh. Hey, there's a uh, guy here now. We're gonna go unga. Oh, I'm curious as to what his binocu comms look like. Oh, I don't get um, Binocu comms with him like I would with everyone else. Hmm. Wait a minute. Let's go back up this way just in case. Oh, look at the weird looking alien dinosaur. That's kind of cool. Cooper getting fish. Cooper with club. Cooper with bow and arrow. Ooh. Flying horse. Wait, wait, hold on. What's this one? Cooper getting fish again. Okay. jump okay so maybe they're not your standard exercises but they are murray approved so <laughs> let's get started <laughs> i love murray murray's my favorite <laughs> okay um well i mean i guess you know we go over here just making sure we don't have a, a mask using advanced training techniques the murray has gained the balance of a mountain goat now I'm gonna pass my secret on to you. It's simple. You stand in the middle of the ice, and my little helpers will shake things up. All you have to do is keep that egg in one piece. Oh god, okay. Keep shifting your weight. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Okay, we're we're doing well. We're doing well. Yeah, your balance is fast. Way to stay on your feet, kid. All right, that wasn't too horrible. Can I jump to that? <gasps> I can, but it gives me nothing. All right, what do we got over here? Speed. And 
not just at the dinner table. <laughs> you want to hit your opponent at just the right instant. Time your attack and whack the opponent when he's in front of you. Okay. Oh, missed. There we go. <laughs> the penguins would get irritable. Okay, what do we got here? Hold on. Hold on. Nope. That's another interaction. That's not an actual mask. Okay. Okay. Oh. Take your time, but not too much. Concentrate on the target. All right, easy. Now that I know when we need to release, easy. Oh, that one went by us very quickly. There we go. Yeah, great shooting, Ken, but don't get cocky. All right, so we've got an accuracy, balance, reaction time. Is that whack-a-mole? I want to do whack-a-mole last. Okay, what's over here? When you've been fighting as long as the Murray, you develop cat-like reflexes. But, like, without all the hairballs and stuff. To do this, you have to keep your focus. This exercise is simple. Dodge the penguin. Oh, it's a timing puzzle. I moved in slow motion. Can I jump when I'm doing that? Is up jump? Oh, up is jump. There we go. Made it. Alright, easy peasy. We'll do that one last. I want to see this one and just be absolutely sure nothing okay during my illustrious sumo career i developed the strength to move my opponent no matter how big i also won the ramen eating championship but that's another story <laughs> to develop this kind of power you have to push yourself all right your opponent is ready when the two of you meet you better find your strength if you don't, he's gonna slap you in the next week. When you can move him out of the ring, you'll be done here. Use your power. Don't let him back you up. Come on. All right, so it's a button mashing portion. There we go. All right, and what's going to end up being my favorite one, I bet. Let me just make sure that I'm not missing a thing. It doesn't look like I am. Whack-a-mole. A real fighter knows when to strike and when to back off. Like whether or not to have one more pepperoni and chocolate chip burrito. 
To make these split-second calls, you need precision. Our little penguin pals are gonna start popping out of those holes, along with some fakes. Just make sure you hit the real bird. Okay. Put the smack down on those clouds. Great. Just remember to aim for the real penguins. Dang it. There we go. Oh yeah. That's picking your punches, Chum. Bob, you've got what it takes. You earned those medals, but there's one last test. You've got to put it all together. Everything at once. Sort of like a triple decker pizza. <laughs> you know what you gotta do. Now make the Murray proud. Okay. Easy. Whack a mole's done. <laughs> He's doing sit ups. Easy peasy. Okay. This is definitely like a rocky montage. Oh, geez. There. <laughs> this is actually a little bit harder than the original. There we go. All I have to do is hit three targets. Oh. Oh, come on. There we go. Man, it would have been perfect, too, if it hadn't been for the two targets. There we go. Nice. No! Got it. Push-ups. Yeah, this is definitely rocky. No, you jerk. Got it. Oh, holy jeez. Okay, let's settle down. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. All right, all right, all right, all right. No! Oh, it almost fell off! Got it. There we go. Job complete. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> also weird. Pepperoni chocolate chip burrito. All right. When we come back. Do uh, going up. 
Thanks for watching.